Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today I have quite frankly a buttload of empties here to share with you guys. I've been saving these up forever. So I'm gonna go over everything, tell you guys if I'm gonna repurchase these things and kind of just my overall thoughts on them. So give this video a like if you enjoy it at any point. Just realized Oinkers was over there. Give a like for Oinkers and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to join me, but let's get into it. I'm gonna start with cleansers because I have quite a few. I'm gonna run pretty quickly through all of these. This is the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Cleanser. I have a new one of these already. Love this cleanser. This was the Earth Day size, which actually took me almost a year to go through, me and my boyfriend both. So if they like do this again and you like this cleanser, it's such a good value. Gentle, non-stripping. I don't necessarily like it for taking off makeup, but it's a great like morning cleanse or a second cleanse. Next up, I have this pretty dusty everyday face cleanser by Alder New York. This was a very light gel like cleanser and I did really enjoy it. Again, not something I would use to take off makeup, but it's a nice second cleanse, super gentle. I think it has a balanced pH. Yeah, pH optimized cleanser. This was really nice. In terms of repurchasing, I'm not gonna repurchase any of these cleansers because I have a lot to go through already. But this one, use of people, I would definitely reconsider. I would definitely consider repurchasing them if I ever needed a cleanser. If it did like come down between the two, I would definitely go with the youth to the people one. And then next up I have the Allies Allies of Skin. It's their molecular silk amino hydrating cleanser. I literally used the crap out of this. I went through this really quickly because I loved it so much. Allies of Skin, why do I keep saying that? Allies of Skin makes it the most effective skincare I've tried. I love their vitamin C serum. They just have really great like scientifically based formulas that are super effective. Again, this is like a pH balance one. This one I do feel like is really nice at removing makeup. Like this is like a one and done cleanser. I absolutely love this. I would repurchase this for sure. I really miss having this in my life and seeing it just made me miss it even more. It's kind of random, but I'm moving soon. So my whole setup will be different. I should be able to have my own filming space. I don't think you guys like realize, but my setup right now is me sitting on my bed. Obviously, I don't even have a table or anything to work off of. I just put myself on my bed. And then if I'm doing makeup, I'll just like hold a mirror. Like it's not an optimized set up at all. I really want to get new lighting. Hopefully the quality of everything will be improved as well. So I'm so excited for that. Beginning of April, I feel like it probably won't be done until middle of April, but so, so excited. Next up, I guess this technically counts as a cleanser. It's the Audacity Pure Elements Blue Aura Cleansing Water. I do already have a new one of these and I really like this. I don't like it to remove makeup. I don't think it's really that effective at doing that, but I love this as a morning cleanse. But I used my new one in my morning routine and my skin had a reaction and I'm still trying to figure out like what it was. Like I don't think it's this because I've used it before but you never know sometimes your skin does like develop a sensitivity even if you're used to using a product so not sure I'll have to figure out if that's what caused it or if it was something else. Next up I have a couple toners, Herbivore Rose Hibiscus. Really enjoyed this, nothing special. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this, it's just rose water you know. It is really nice they added like some new ingredients. I think they added coconut water and something else to make it better. And yeah, again, it's nice. Nothing crazy though. Herbivore, no, Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. You guys know I love this. I would repurchase this again. I'm just trying to use some other toners I have, but this is a go-to of mine and I feel like I'm always emptying these. CSC Vitamin Boost, this is like the bright red one I used in my Osea video. I really enjoy this. It does sting your eyes a little bit. I have another Osea mist I'm testing, so I'm not gonna repurchase this one at the moment, but I thought it was really nice. Like these bottles are super high quality. The mister is fine and it doesn't sort of like break halfway through like some misters do. Just really great mist. Next, I have my Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Uh, I already have a new one of these. I use it a lot. I'm trying to dial like down on this because I feel like it's been sensitizing my skin a little bit. Again, not sure. My skin's been like really reactive lately and I'm trying to figure out what it was. So I've cut down instead of using this every night. I use it a couple times a week and I think my skin's a lot happier with that. Insanely effective, can be drying, but if you have like stubborn acne and you haven't tried this, like it's worth a shot. I have some serums. These are the exact same one. The Pi Skincare Perfect Balance Copaiba and Zinc Serum. This was my favorite Zinc Serum. I also like, I tried to get 
this is before I discovered what was inside, tried to get the extra out, but it is in this like um, airtight sort of seal bag. And I saw someone commented on my video and they're like angry that this had that in there. I'm not really sure why, because it actually makes sure that you get like every single thing out of it and it keeps the ingredients like airtight and more potent. So like, I'm not mad that it's like that. You still get the one ounce of product. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know that, Osea serums do have like a airtight little plastic thing on the inside. Yeah, so I do have two of these. Really enjoy these. I switched over to the Ordinary Zinc Serum, which I just finished a smaller bottle. I did finish this bottle of Zinc Serum, which is what I switched over because this one's like way more pricey. So I used this whole one and then I purchased the two ounce size from Sephora. And for some reason that one makes my skin burn. Like, I don't know why it's the exact same serum. I didn't have any problems with this one. So maybe that one, I don't know why it would be a different formula. Again, something I have to figure out. I like this, but I'm not sure if that's what's causing it. Who knows? Hopefully it works out for me because I, the price is right with that one. And for that bottle when I was using it, my skin really liked it. I have another Pi skincare serum here. It's the Back to Life Hydration Serum. I really like this. I like Pi skincare serums. They're all like this light milky texture. They're never sticky. They layer so well and they're super gentle on your skin if you have sensitive skin. I really like these. They're a pricier brand, but I've never been disappointed with a product I've tried from them. Everything's just so high quality and I always enjoy using it, like I said. So I did like this. I'm not going to repurchase it, but maybe I will in the future if I need a hydrating hydrating serum. It's the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. I really enjoyed this. I don't know. I feel like you can definitely find a hydrating serum for a more affordable price. Do I think this one is so lovely? Yes, it just depends on how much you're willing to spend. I just love the texture of this. It was that classic bouncy hyaluronic texture. It didn't pill with anything, which I feel like is uh, usually a lot of hyaluronic serums can pill if you use oils and stuff with them. This one I didn't really have a problem with. It smells really nice. Great ingredients as always. Vegan, cruelty-free, all that jazz. I feel like this would be nicer in a pump, but either way, I did like this one. I actually have one more cleanser. This is the By B Swipe Clean Oil Cleanser. I've mentioned this before. I really love this oil cleanser. Sort of that mid-range price point. You could grab it off of Credo Beauty. Really nice. It just has like this pop top that you can put into your hand. It takes off makeup really well. It rinses clean, doesn't leave like a heavy residue. And I think it's a really great oil cleanser. Another serum I finished up is the AO Skincare Raw Nurture PM Treatment. This is another skincare brand that's on Credo Beauty. I really like the serum. I have a replacement of this already. It's really creamy. It's just such an interesting formula. It has red algae, harake seed oil, kiwi seed oil, and it's a low moisture nighttime treatment. It says to hydrate, plump, exfoliate, and improve skin tone. Anyway, this was interesting because their whole like serums are based on low moisture. So how they described it is like, if you use a lot of heavier moisturizers and stuff, your skin can be accustomed to that. And then it can't really regulate its own oils or moisture levels. So like they suggest using low moisture treatments that still do hydrate and moisturize, but just not a super heavy one. So your skin can learn to sort of balance itself. I'm not sure if that's correct, but that was my little summary of it. I really like this. I have a new one. I do see an improvement in my skin tone. It makes it soft and plump, doesn't break me out, and it layers really, really well. It almost feels like a super light moisturizer, and I like the airless pump that it comes in. I have so many serums. I have four more, and then we'll move on. This isn't empty, but I'm getting rid of this. The Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum. I don't understand how people like this. It's so sticky. Like, this oxidized on me a month after getting it. Like, it's just dark orange now. Like, I'm not going to use that on my face. It's really sticky. I didn't like it on my skin in the morning or the nighttime. I feel like it's just a really, like, weird texture to work with. And it can just pill and just not work well with my other serums. And again, I don't understand why it oxidized so quickly. It really shouldn't. It wasn't in the heat or sunlight or anything. So I'm really disappointed in this. And... Yeah, that didn't work. It has such high reviews, but I like my Allies of Skin one a lot better for the price. Here's another vitamin C that I do enjoy, the Ursa Major Vitamin C Serum. This is more of a creamy, moisturizing type of vitamin C. Just a classic. I've had multiple of these. One of the oldest, like, clean skincare products I've tried. Really effective, 
really nice. If you guys haven't tried this and want a vitamin C, this is just like a classic in my mind. And then I have this urea and niacinamide rose water serum from Vis Viva. This is like a smaller brand that's on Instagram. I really, really like this. It has super simple ingredients and I like totally forgot about it until I saw it in my empties. I was like, wow, I should get a new one of those. If the ordinary zinc niacinamide is the one that's like making my skin react, I will switch over to this one because I do remember really enjoying this and I recommend it if you like some niacinamide action. And then next is the Josh Rosebrook Hydration Boost Concentrate. The newest release from Josh Rosebrook. I love Josh Rosebrook, you know, this just didn't really blow me away. It says that it has like super instant result, but it just felt like any other serum to me. And it is so tiny. I didn't use it every day because they kind of suggest just using it like a treatment. I just didn't notice a huge improvement in my skin, but I don't know. I feel like I would try it again, but it just wasn't my favorite. Kind of weird because all of other Josh's products like really agree with my skin and I do see results, but this I just wasn't, you know, amazed by. Okay, I guess I do have one more cleanser I forgot about too. It's the Botanical Bee Cleansing Oil Solid. This is from... Oh, One Love Organics. You have a liquid version of this. This is the solid balm version. I really love this. It smells amazing. It's this super thick balm that takes off makeup like a dream and it does emulsify and rinse off. I would definitely repurchase this if I need an oil cleanser. I just love the smell of it. It's like a whole experience and it did a really great job at taking my makeup off and didn't dry out my skin and it's great. All right, moving on to some moisturizers and stuff. There's a couple oils that I finished. The Pie Rosehip Oil, one of my favorite oils. I kind of stopped using heavier oils. So now my oil collection is a lot smaller. I've just been focusing on lighter weight oils. I know my skin likes because I had such like a weird experience with the St. James CBD oil that is so heavy on the skin. I know so pricey and it just didn't work out for me. So I've been sticking to lighter weight things. I think my skin just likes them a lot better. This is really great. Great for acne scarring or any sort of like dark spots you have. Another like classic skincare product in my routine. And then the Bybe CBD Booster. If you do want CBD skincare, start with this. It's nice and affordable. You can mix it in with other products or use it on its own. This took me a while to go through. It is super tiny, but you need like the smallest amount. I believe this is mixed with hemp oil. Yeah, so it is lightweight on the skin. I didn't have any breakouts with it. And I think that was a nice product on my routine. To Josh Rosebrook products. Vital Balm Cream and Advanced Hydration Mask. Absolutely love both of these. This one fell and cracked. I've used multiple of these throughout my clean skincare journey. I feel like you don't really necessarily need both of these. Vital Balm Cream is almost like the Advanced Hydration Mask, but a little less rich and more creamy, but they are both very rich, hydrating, moisturizing products. If you don't like heavy feeling stuff, you might not like this, but my tip for like making either of these lighter is you can use any toner or the hydrating accelerator and mix it in with your palm. Like this with the Vital Balm Cream mixed together is like the most calming, luxurious moisturizer ever. Love that duo, super calming, great for sensitive skin. And then the Advanced Hydration Mask is amazing as well. I like to use this if my skin's super de dehydrated and I'll cleanse before my shower and put this on to keep all the moisture on. Also when I was on vacation, I used this when I went in the hot tub so like the steam didn't completely dry my skin out. Great product. I've repurchased these time and time again. I have the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream, another product I've used for a long time and really enjoy. I think any skin type would like this. It's not too heavy, not too light, gives the perfect amount of moisture, smells great. Ursa Major is just like a great classic skincare brand. I have some cleansing wipes so let's get those out of the way. Pacifica Rose Water Makeup Removing Wipes. These are nice. They're wipes. I feel like they're not anything crazy. The Vitamin Cleanse from Kaya Naturals. I really love these. These smell so good. It's the Juicy Bamboo scent, I believe. They're biodegradable and just great. If I would recommend like any of these, I would go with Kaya Naturals. I think they're just the best out of these. And then I also have the OG Gentle Glow Cleansing Cloths. These are like an oily type of off, which I don't really get. It doesn't make your skin feel like super clean. So that was that. Okay, this is one of the last skincare products and then I have some makeup and body and hair care. This is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Mask from You to the People. 
I absolutely love this. I have a smaller sample on my vanity now. It's really moisturizing and I feel like when I wake up like, the night, nope, the morning after I wear this, it looks really great. Like my skin actually, I see an improvement in my skin overnight. Do I feel like it brightens like acne scars and stuff? I don't know. I feel like I just really didn't pay enough attention to know if that affected acne scars, but it's a really nice moisturizing mask if you want something like that. I do like this one. Okay, so this next one is a, uh, what do you call this, lifestyle empty. The Lord Jones Royal Oil, a thousand milligrams of CBD, which is 40 milligrams per serving. I did enjoy this one. It is pricey, but I think it's a really great quality. They use grapeseed oil. My stomach is like really, it gets upset with palm oil or like canola oil or anything like a low quality oil. I've just noticed my stomach does not like, so I have to be careful with oils at an intake. This one doesn't bother me and I really enjoy it. I also just finished my Charlotte's Web. I had the 17 milligram one. I just finished that. I mentioned that in my last favorites video, the orange flavor. Really great if you want something flavored. I would recommend the Charlotte's Web. I think I like that one a little bit more anyway. This one is obviously a higher dose. I just, I finished this a while ago. Not exactly sure how I felt about it. I think it was nice, but I'm liking the Charlotte's Web one a lot better. I actually just got their 50 milligram one to try. All right, let's get into this makeup. Lots of brow pencils. I feel like I just blow through brow pencils like no tomorrow. Hourglass Arch in Platinum Blonde. Oh my gosh, I love the shade and the shape of this pencil. It's like this ovular type of applicator. I just use this so quickly and it's so expensive. I'm not going to repurchase it. But if you want to splurge on a brow pencil, I feel like this is so good. It's so easy to like get a nice shape. And sometimes I feel like a brow pencil can't be that special, but I do really enjoy that one. NYX Myco Brow. I go between this and the ColourPop. What is this even called? Brow Boss. I lost the bottom of it in taupe. Both of these are in taupe. Simple little fine brow pencils. Pretty basic stuff here. I enjoy these. I always use like more affordable brow pencils because I'm just, just like the hourglass one, I go through them so quickly. I'm just not gonna pay $40 every month for my brow pencil. Double mascaras, Honest Beauty. This is just called their mascara. I really like this. I already have a new one. Great mascara if you like dramatic lashes doesn't flake, does smudge a little bit on me depending on what concealer I use, but overall, why do I feel like you guys can't even see that? This is why I need new lighting. Overall, nice concealer, I mean mascara. Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions, love this. I have two more currently, I think. This is very dramatic. If you have like very sensitive eyes, I feel like this might irritate your eyes a tiny, tiny bit. It's like a tubing mascara, so it's pretty hard to get out, but if you use like an oil cleanser, it comes off easily. The Wander Beauty Mile High Club. I have another one of these as well. It's the one I'm wearing today. I really like this mascara. It has this super tiny like fibrous wand, which is a little different than what I usually like, but it's a really nice mascara. I feel like, I don't know what else to say about mascaras. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. It's not like the most dramatic effect at first, but you can build it up. I have a backup of this one that I'm wearing today. Nice mascara. I think it's like an interesting little tube design. And then I have two complexion products. Leia True Skin Serum Foundation. Duh, I have a new one of these already. I'm not going to talk much about it. You guys know I love it. Elia True Skin Serum Concealer. Again, something I talk about a lot. I'm wearing this today. Love this and I will repurchase this when I run on my new one as well. And the setting spray I used up is the Pixi Glow Mist. I really like this. If you want a really dewy setting mist, if you don't want like a very dewy mist, you might not like this because it can be like a little bit oily and sit on top of the skin, but I like to mist this and then use a sponge and just like press it in and it really does give you a glowy base. It's not like a mist that it's like, oh, it makes you glow and it doesn't really do much. Like this actually puts a layer of like glow on your face. So beautiful. If you use too much powder, this is like the perfect fix. I'm currently using the Pixie Milky Mist, but I do like that one as well. The Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. You guys know this is my absolute favorite powder. I have a new one. I'm looking at it right now, and I will repurchase this probably forever until I can find something maybe that lives up to this. So far, I've had no luck though. Now to body care products from Lady Sweet, which is an intimate skincare brand. Really great brand. 
the owners, super sweet. This is their Probiotic Refreshing Cleanser for Harmony Down South. This was really great. Nice and light, smelled good, wasn't irritating or anything like that. I wouldn't think, I wouldn't really repurchase this just because I don't think it's like totally necessary, but if you wanted something like this, I think you would like that one. Really great quality as well. And then the Lady Sweet, this is the Rejuvenating Botanical Oil for the Glow Below. So you can use this for ingrown hairs, just overall moisturization. I love this. I think it's super unique. I already have a new one of these. I really think it was something missing like in the space. Like there wasn't really anything like this for ingrown hairs. I just think the brand is super cool. So check them out if you haven't already. Next, last three things. Oh, one more body care thing. Beneath Your Mask Heal Whipped Skin Souffle. Wow, this is like the most luxurious like body butter I've ever used. I have a new one of these in my bathroom. It's super rich. If you don't like a very heavy oily feeling type of product, you wouldn't like this. But if you want to invest in a luxurious whipped body butter, this would be my recommendation. Another great brand. The owner is amazing. Amazing story behind the brand as well. If you want to check them out, they are on Beauty Heroes. And then I have two shampoos. Ursa Major Go Easy Daily Shampoo. I really like this. It smells so good. Balsam and macadamia. It's like a super fresh, not overly like masculine type of scent. My boyfriend also used this. This makes your like scalp feel super cleansed without being drying. And it it's so lightweight, like it never weighs my hair down and does a really nice clean Amica Buster Brass Cool Blonde Conditioner. Oh, I thought this was shampoo. I love this. This is the most potent like purple shampoo I swear you can buy. So if you need a purple shampoo, check out Amika. I also have the shampoo and conditioner. I have both in my shower right now. Like this stuff, you probably can't tell. It's super purple. Like this will bust your brass. No joke. I love this. It does have a strong scent. I mentioned that with all Amika products. If you don't like fragrances, stay away from this because you'd probably be annoyed by it. But I like it. And I also have a discount code for you guys. I always have it in the description for Amika. So if you want to try that out, check below. Then this is the very last product, the VX Voluminizing Shampoo by Together Beauty. This is a newer hair care brand on Sephora. I really love this. My boyfriend used like all of this and I was, <laughs> I got pretty mad. I was like, babe, I'm supposed to be testing that out. So I got to use it a little bit. It was very voluminizing and like a nice minty, nice minty smell to it. I really like this. I would repurchase it because I really want to try it again. And it just is a really nice clean shampoo. Guys, that was it for all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoy this. And I also wanted to mention, I just posted on my Instagram stories actually, a question box on my stories because I want to do a Q&A video. So feel free to go over my Instagram and enter your questions or you can drop them down below if you don't have an Instagram. So that video will be coming up and your question might be featured. So anything you want to know, drop below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, but see you in my next video.